greetings, sirs and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Gundam Battle Operation 2. So, well, here's my first video of the Aqua Gym. I've used it a couple of times, but yeah, I recently dropped the torpedo launcher. Yeah, normally you use the harpoon gun with this thing, and yeah, I got this new weapon, so I thought I'd take it out for a spin. Uh, weirdly enough, it looks a lot like a backwards buster rifle from Gundam Wing. I, I don't know, like, uh... Katoki likes his uh, hexagonal geometry, I guess. Uh, so yeah, um, this was a 300 cost basic match, and I know the Aqua Gym's supposed to be in the water, but yeah, it's still a pretty solid general for 300. Um, I'm not really sure what else I would use, but yeah, uh, yeah. So it's got a lot of neat tools on it. Of course, um, yeah, I got the missile like launcher. It, uh, it's pretty good for mopping up <laughs> pilots. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like <clears throat> there's a there's a goof here, and I'm yeah I killed the pilot, so I'm just uh, taking down the mobile suit. Uh, these things are kind of tanky now. And yeah, the Aqua Gym has a lot of different tools. Um, you saw me use the the anchor launcher before. Uh, basically, acts as a straight shooting heat rod. It's got a, a beam pick, which is it's essentially a beam dagger. It's got a very short range. Uh, and yeah, it's got these uh, missiles in its backpack. I believe you can fire those while boosting. But uh, of course, um, you know, like we only got so many fingers on our hands. Like it's kind of hard to aim and shoot at the same time while you're boosting. Yeah, so this uh, Zaku HC has been hammering us from that nest up top. Um, I'm going to roll out of the way. Oh, this is uh, some kind of Dwudge Custom or something. Like... Uh, I think I do have this one, but like it, it does a, a, the really annoying easy like beam saber lunge thing. Yeah, so my teammates are doing pretty good. Uh, here's that goof player again, and <laughs> and he instantly whooped my ass with a whip no less. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, let's drop an airstrike on these clowns or people, nice people. Like uh, yeah, sorry. I try. I do try to be respectful of the enemy team. Okay, so airstrike. I probably didn't hit anything. Called my gym back in. Okay, here comes that bludge again. Yeah, and for a missile weapon, the missile launcher has pretty good like uh, round velocity. So, yeah, it's you can kind of treat it like um, almost like a machine gun a little bit. Yeah, you can stun after a few shots, but uh, but yeah, you, I, I don't think you should really count on that. Yeah, I could not land any counters this round for some reason. Ooh, yeah, he's zipping along right there. Okay, hand anchor. Yeah, this is a really good weapon. Uh, it does pretty decent damage and it causes heavy stagger. That's the main thing. And then you can uh, follow up with missiles afterwards. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have my my gym spec for like range damage. Yeah, I try not to get in too close if I don't have to. Okay, um, how about we take that Zaku down, like off from the, the rooftop? Here. My uh, Zaku-1 sniper friend is jumping up there. He blocked all my missiles, unfortunately. Okay, and there's it's two on one up there, so I, they pretty much have a handle. Let's go fight this goof over here. Okay, he got tackled and uh, beam picked. Okay, got the killing shot on his legs. Yeah, I am trying to I am trying to damage as many legs as I can here. Okay, um, okay, I think that's our desert gym over there. And he's alone with somebody, so I'm gonna go over there and back him up. It's a good thing because uh, our desert gym was really hurt. And yeah, most of our team was really hurt. Okay, bait the bazooka with, uh, with a roll. Okay. Yeah, the, the missiles, um, well, I don't always have the best aim. And I don't always, you know, lead my shots well with slow rounds. So, yeah, it, it is going to be kind of hard to hurt people if, you know, someone else doesn't set up the stuns for you. But yeah, the, the desert gym can, its railgun causes heavy stagger. So, yeah, that was a pretty good opening to use the missiles. Okay, this is some sort of Zaku 2. Like, from the axe, it's probably a Zaku FS. I really hate fighting these things. <laughs> yeah, so I got him with the hand anchor, missiles. Boom, he's dead. Alright, that's some good teamwork right there. Okay, let's uh, relink with the other teammates. Um, okay, I think that's our, our special friend, the Goof. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> looks like he's falling back with his team. Smart move. I'm trying to call my team to come up with me. Uh, where is he going? I mean, he can probably take me in, in uh, close range, but yeah, I guess he's trying not to get himself tangled up or something. 
I don't even know what I'm shooting at. This smoke sure is lasting a long time. Okay, here comes the gift player. Okay, I really should be uh, back boosting and firing the missiles at the same time, but I didn't do that because I'm a bad player. <laughs> so yeah, he kills me again. Oh no, and uh, now our Zaku-1 sniper is in a lot of trouble. Okay, so we have two allies fighting somebody near our base, and I'm trying to stop them from capturing B. It does not go well. <laughs> you know, it happens. Or uh, point E, rather. Yeah, uh, I guess I forgot to mention, this is a new old map. Um, I think it's the, the Torrington base. They added some craters and all that type of horseshit to it. Um, yeah, this was my favorite map on the previous um, Gundam Battle Operation, and I'm, I'm really glad to see it back. Yeah, it's got some really great areas for close-range combat, as long as uh, lots of areas for uh, sniping and counter-sniping, too. It's really fun. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Yeah, it's a big-ass wide-open map for all those airstrikes now. God <laughs> damn it. Yeah, lots of uh, capture points, too. So, like, uh, yeah, this will probably make the matches fairly dynamic. Like, you don't know, like, how the teams are going to move around each other like this. Okay, so that guy's dead. Uh, somebody rolled out of the way. Okay, which Zaku is this? Okay, oh, yeah, beam pick is way too short. <laughs> I probably should use the anchor instead. Yeah, like uh, I try not to use the anchor on moving enemies because if you whiff, the recovery really sucks. So yeah, I, I try to avoid that when I can. Oh, it looks like uh, this other Aqua Jin is. Yeah, he's using the harpoon gun. Yeah, and that that gun is it's a uh, I don't know it's, it's basically. Like, Bazooka Trip made a horse shit, so yeah, I just... I, I think I'd rather use the Missile Launcher. Yeah, if this if this mobile suit had a machine gun instead, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd do that. Okay, this Goof uh, broke his legs, and... Oh no! God, he almost died. Oh, well, good for him. Okay, that's time. Alright, let's see how we did on the score. Looks like we took the match. Okay, uh, 7,900 to 6,100. Um, it was kind of a close round. Yeah, my team had a pretty good teamwork. Yeah, we kind of had a... Yeah, we didn't have any raids on our team, so we were having some trouble dealing with their uh, Zaku HC. But but yeah, um, yeah, our team did really well. Looks like I got six kills and two deaths. Uh, I think the Guff killed me both times. And yeah, that's uh, the first ace round I've played in forever because you know, I just don't really give a shit about rank. Uh, but... Um, yeah, I think I had to do some ace rounds to, like, uh, do the special 3 million download stuff. Yeah, you, got, you have to do two rated matches to get the Grand Paw Gundam. But yeah, guys, that's it for uh, this round with the Aqua Gym. I, I really like it. Um, I don't tend to play this low-cost stuff much anymore, but yeah, the Aqua Gym is uh, it's pretty nice stuff. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.